I'm Andrew Tenelian with My Arlington TV, and this episode of Arlington Eats brings us to the Dan Diaper Career and Technical Center, where its culinary program is teaching students how to be chefs that may one day serve you. I love getting up and coming to work. That's Alice Monroe, who will show you how to be a chef. So stand where your normal station is, and let's combine groups just a little bit. The school opened in 2017, but spend a day with her and the dozens of students she sees every day, and you'll be convinced they've been here much longer. What number are you on? We are getting you the skills that you need to get into that entry-level job. In some ways, the students already have one. You can order a to-go lunch from them on Wednesdays and Thursdays from their bistro. And they're so talented, they get professional catering gigs. 12 so far this year, some outside the school. Yes, please. And is what you're watching them do. Thank you. The students are all prepping the food they're catering at this public dedication of their school to its namesake, Dan Diapers. They made the menu and tested it in class. It's definitely a surprise and a step up from whatever I thought I was going to be. Matthew Grievous is a junior here, and the focus you see in him as he works is something he's thankful for because it's honed here, something he didn't think he'd get to do until a little later in life. I thought I was going to go into college like everybody else, not knowing what I was doing, but this program is allowing me to get the skills that I need to become a chef now rather than later. Then there's Christina Fon who very well may have the steadiest hands of everyone here. The calm you see is because she's found what she loves. This is the only thing I'm really interested in. Like, it's the one that really brought me out here. Everything else was like, meh, it's okay. It's not really interesting, or I don't want to do it my whole life. This, I enjoy it, and I have fun, and I want to do that my whole life. Add your egg and shortening. It was the same with her teacher, Alice Monroe, who worked in the industry before becoming a teacher, who coincidentally... I'm a, an Arlington born and bred. I was, I'm an Arlington ISD product. She grew up here, raised a family here, taught at Lamar High School, where she went growing up and is now here. I didn't realize this was my dream job, but I am truly, I'm in my dream job that I never knew I wanted. She'll be the first to tell you she doesn't do it alone two other teachers support her, Ethan Shavoya and Cynthia Will. I'm very proud of you. And so is the school's namesake. And close. Who was enthusiastically overwhelmed with the students and their work. It's unbelievable. This isn't reception, this is breakfast. <laughs> the growth from these kids from, you know, August to now is amazing. Usually when we do these stories, they center around one person. This story highlights three and would you believe the appreciation they express? All the other students here feel as well. And not just in culinary, but in the many programs offered here, with faculty for each just as dedicated as Monroe, knowing how lucky they are to come to this school in Arlington, the American Dream City. It's insanely awesome. It's indescribable how amazing it is to one, see the facility, be able to come here every day, work with the all-stars that I work with, it's amazing.